Hello folks, uh, welcome to my allotment channel. I wasn't actually going to produce a video uh, so soon, but uh, I've been chitting uh, my parsnips uh, in the tub. I've already done 30, left it a couple of days and this has happened. Far too big. So I thought I'd do a little experiment. Obviously, we don't want to damage this taproot. It should never get that long. So I thought I'd just try a couple of the seeds in my kitchen rolls to see how they uh, perform using uh, parsnip seeds that have gone far too far. I haven't touched these seeds at all. I've just spread them straight out of the packet. There's two there together. As Jim's allotment said, you might have bacteria on your hands. So I haven't actually physically touched these clean tap water. So I'm going to plant that awkwardly and we'll see what actually happens to it. So the tap root's actually facing uphill. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that. And then we'll get one that's way too long. That's going in the second one. I'm going to plant that one directly downhill but we'll see whether we actually get a parsnip that's uh, crooked. Cut those up. Labels ready but not marked up. So that box of parsnips will be topped up with the ones that we should be using, or the ones I'm going to use, right or wrong, with a very small chit on it. You might be able to see it better. I like that. That's the ideal size. Downhill, and I'll get those watered in. These are some I've done earlier. As they've chitted, I've planted them up, and we've got one come to the top already. In actual fact, they've all started, and these haven't been in the um, tray for long. Homegrown veg, I sort of copied his idea but I didn't actually put the lid on. I just used a flat tray, dried out too quickly. But again watching um, uh, Tony's allotment, he used the takeaway container and actually uh, put tissue on top but I found that they were sticking to everything so I, I, I didn't bother I've left it open but as you can see they're chitting too quickly I'll finish those off once the video is finished so that's going to be my little trial that's the one with the tap root facing up that's the one with a long tap root it looks like a bit of a corkscrew and I will actually do a reveal by cutting the toilet rolls apart and we'll have a look at the actual uh, tap root. I'll just show you around my allotment now. There's lots of things going on. Lots of plants that are uh, coming along. There's some of my sprouts, brassicas. 
pop my peas out just while I watered them. Won't be long before they go out. Some beetroot, some sunflowers there looking towards us. Some what I call pointed cabbages, you'll know the ones I mean. Some red and green tart lettuce. And just pop uh, over here. The onions and leeks that I've got in those, I think I've cooked them inside. So I don't know whether they'll be any good. So I thought best bring my leeks outside, they look okay. We'll just pop into the polytunnel now. What have we got there? I had two watering cans last time. I think I've left them too, too close together and uh, a new one's been born. The first lot of radishes coming through. A little row there. I'm taking up as much space as I can. I've got a row of uh, carrots there and they're just started to show if I can find the row just there in the middle of the screen I've already topped my potatoes up once and they're absolutely flying through now previous visit video explains what I've been up to. My carrots don't look like they're going to seed. I keep checking them. I have took one out and ate it on site. It's a funny colour but it tasted alright. The lettuces, these are a little gem. They're not a winter lettuce but they've been in since about October, November new lease of life. If you remember in the corner my grapevine but after watching Tony's uh, allotment video about uh, the grapevines I thought that's got to come out. It had just started to bud but there was really no bud growth from last year so I've repotted that up and when I've got time I'll get that sorted peas are going well. I'm actually glad I did what I did but I've got to sort the, the mice problem out. The brassicas. So we've got the broccoli F1 calabrese, kale dwarf, some round cabbage and cauliflower all year round. I did notice that one had Flopped over. I don't know whether something's had that or it's got a little bit too warm in here. I won't be planting that one. It's already bent over at the bottom, but I've got extras. I won't throw it away just yet. That's my grapevine that was in the corner. It looks happier now. But again, these foreign labels don't give you enough detail. And with me not being, only just really getting onto the uh, computer side of it and searching different things, I've got it all wrong. I've just bought uh, some more, a couple more grapevines and a red raspberry. Three for five pounds. I don't think I mentioned me kiwi plant. It's been outside for three years so whether I'll get anything off it this year or not I don't know but it's probably in the better place. Let's go and have a walk down the allotment. This is my outdoor lettuce. Uh, these uh, plastic, they're actually street lanterns they can't recycle them, so they were in the uh, skip. But uh, what I actually do, top of the yoghurt pot, just pushed 
attaching to the ground gently. Three slug pellets inside that. Three slug pellets on the outside. Then that actually, uh, we've, last year I had no slug problems at all. As you know, when it rains, the lettuce tend to get covered in muck if they're not uh, closely uh, put together. Uh, I don't get any problems with the rain. But I don't know whether you can notice, I watered these. Yeah. Monday. And obviously I think we've had a little bit of rain since then. And it's still wet inside. These lettuce are at different stages because I had to get me uh, grapevine out. I love it. We had a good frost the other morning, as probably some people, some of you are aware. So uh, they're happy. My broad beans that were in the pots inside. They're all out now. Looking very well. The second earlies are under the. Uh, bubble wrap. I haven't heaped them up yet. But that uh, bubble wrap that was un unrecyclable in the skip, it's actually got a fleece lining, well like a lining similar to a fleece. It's, it keeps the moisture in. I've got three rows of Desiree, Desiree, three rows of King Edward. That bottom bit will be for me uh, squashes, pumpkins, once I get some uh, manure in. In the distance there, next to me onions, it's my first row of carrots. Again, I've covered it up with bubble wrap and that fleece until they show. Let's go in the brassica cage. I planted these June, July of last year. I didn't get any big florets. Uh, I've just had these small that I've been picking off. As quick as I can pick them they're coming back. I also uh, use the uh, lanterns at the bottom. As you see they're quite dirty so you could imagine what the uh, lettuce would look like if you didn't stop the uh, dirt splashing up. Unfortunately, where I planted them is also going to be my brassica cage, so I'm going to have to uh, remove as much soil as I can, especially the ones that have actually got club root, and dispose of the soil. But with only sort of planting in June, July last year, I didn't, uh, they just went anywhere where I got the area clear. The actual uh, Brassica cage is your water piping. I've used rebars as an upright, slid the pipe over the top and then joined it at the top with a rebar and then just whether you can see it the uh, joined it together with a a length of pipe just so that the uh, cage is square and then battens along the top to stop it flap, flopping about. We'll move on. We're back at the brassica, back at the fruit cage now. Still got to net it up, it's time yet, but uh, I'm just uh, taking a, a root cutting off that. Just uh, it was self-setting anyway, so I've just helped it along, keeping the um, roots held down until it establishes itself. But everything is really greening up there nicely. We'll move on. Thanks again for watching. I didn't want to bore anybody with uh, 
how we plant seeds because there's enough people out there uh, who know what they're doing. I'm learning from them. Hope I can pass on to you what I've learned from them. And uh, this video was supposed to be about logs, but uh, with the problems, not the problems, but with my uh, parsnip chitting far too quickly, I thought it was a good uh, good time to show you what I wanted to do there. It'd be nice to do a reveal. Many thanks. Happy growing. Just before I go, I'd like to thank everybody for all the really nice comments. Uh, I do really appreciate now the effort that people who put the videos up, answering comments, uh, questions. It's unbelievable. Uh, but uh, I have enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for everybody who's subscribed and commented. It's it's uh, been amazing. Since it inspired me to uh, carry on. Thank you. Happy growing.